Oh yeah, I keep seeing people in the chat saying that they want me to talk about uh, when Bunk showed up yesterday and what exactly happened. Um, so we were just doing the stream. We were just doing a regular stream, listening to music. Bunk was supposed to show up, so he was supposed to be there. I'd been hit up by his manager earlier in the day, and he told me that Bunk wanted to come in and talk, and it seemed like a very logical uh interview to do because Boone got deleted off Instagram. He had like 5 million followers and, uh, you know, he just he ha doesn't have a way to communicate his life to the people anymore. So it seemed like a perfect time, perfect opportunity to get him on the show, talk to him about why he got his Instagram deleted. Everybody knows he got his Instagram deleted, by the way, because he uh, was getting head and doing all kinds of sexual shit on there. I only saw a little bit of, uh, of it, but I heard all about it from other people saying that, uh, you know, he, he was being pretty freaky on there, completely like getting his dick sucked and stuff. I don't know if you could actually see the, I think it's see on the schlong. It's, it's on, on Pornhub. In Twitter. Oh, well, I'll, have to check, I'll have to check that Pornhub, out. Pornhub, one of those things. Next yeah. time I'm making love, I'll have to check that out. Um, <laughs> anyway, Boonk, so Boonk shows up immediately. He is just so fucked up, like, you know, eyes are just glossy as fuck. It just, it seemed like he was pr like probably on Xanax and like drunk too. Cause yeah, I saw, I saw him drinking vodka, right? It seemed like Xanax and alcohol to me. Yeah. Yeah. From so, watching it. Tequila, like, right? Tequila. Yeah, like, giant ball of tequila. He was yeah. drinking tequila. By the way, guys, if you like drinking tequila, you might also like to head on over to nojumper.com and buy yourself a t-shirt. We got all kinds of great stuff. You can see it on the screen right now. There's a little uh, visual playing of a, a bunch of hot people wearing the No Jumper apparel. You could get it for yourself at nojumper.com. And actually that money will be going towards helping me get over being assaulted by Boon Gang and uh, terrorized <laughs> by him during the duration of that interview. But so my point of view at that moment was, Boom, get the hell out of here. Like, you cannot do the interview like this because, you know, I've done plenty of interviews where people were clearly like on Xanax or just drunk or, you know, super high or coked up or whatever. And I've never really like got that feeling of like, no, I can't do this. But, well, actually, yes, I have. Because the first time I ever tried to interview Lil Pump, uh, that, that wasn't good. But that was also like 8 o'clock in the morning. So it was kind of... He was also here today. He was here today. But it was kind of understandable that he was coming down off the drugs because it was 8 o'clock in the morning. Anyway, yeah. Boonk showed up like that. And one thing I do want to say, too, is like, who was he hanging out with that allowed him to be in this state and then go to an interview? Because I was thinking about it. Like, if I was 10% as drunk as Boonk was in that moment, I would definitely expect all of my friends to not let me go and do an interview so i just want to throw that out there that it doesn't seem like there's necessarily a lot of people in his life who really give a shit about him because if they did they would probably step in and intervene and be like uh you know n number one maybe you shouldn't be getting this fucking loaded in the first place but number two maybe you should at the very least not be getting that loaded before an interview. Like his manager was not actually there and he hit me up afterwards and, and his manager said, yo, was that clip of him passing out and hitting his head on the wall real? Like the manager questioned it. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. So that's kind of, it was real because he was, yeah. he was fucked. So, Did he smell like liquor and shit and all that? Uh, he was, he passed out outside. He was like just sitting there like just fucking, I was gonna puke. He was just drooling and stuff like that, Damn. just laying there. Like, yeah, I mean, he he pulled up, and I was like, "Oh shit!" And I go, oh, "Maybe you shouldn't go in there." <clears throat> and then he was just, you know, they were like dragging him in there. The people he was with. <laughs> Some weekend at Bernie shit. Yeah, because how the hell is he gonna get there on his own? There's he was so fucked up that I doubt he even could have called an Uber. Never mind drove. Well, that's what I'm saying. It's like he couldn't even function his own body to walk. So it's like at that point, why didn't they just like no? You're not going anywhere. Yeah, like not obviously anywhere. you should not be going to do an interview when you're in that state. But then it was like a, s a weird situation where I told him I didn't want to do the interview because he was so fucked up. But then he's basically like, wow, no, nah, I'm going to do it anyway. And he was saying, he was just repeating shit over and over and over. And that's why I really didn't want to do the interview was because I don't want to sit here and do you know, a 20 or 30 minute interview where you're just going to repeat yourself over and over because you're so fucked up. And he did, to, to be fair, he did manage to sort of answer a few questions, but a lot of his answers just didn't make any sense. Like he's talking about like, oh, I went from 4.7 million on Instagram to 5.2 by posting all these porn videos. I'm like, okay. Like, 
you got a bunch of followers and then you got your fucking account deleted. Like, how is that good? Yeah, right. That was not good. You know, and it's like he's just hitting me with all this stupid logic that doesn't make any sense. And, uh, you know, I, I waited through it for a while, but I, I really had to be pretty, like, forceful with my words to, like, get him to leave. Like, I, I really didn't want to have to be, like, uh, tell one of my employees to, like, come in and, like, force him out. That would have been pretty awkward. That I mean, this me. wall did. did. <laughs> <laughs> but so then, yeah, then he stands up as if it could. And keep in mind, this has been a wild week for me. We just had so many ridiculous things happen on this podcast. And then, boom, which, keep in mind, I thought he was going to throw up on me when he first walked in. Yeah. I did too. Yeah, which because, is because he had the hiccups, which, which kind of sucks. Because ca- that's when the camera was cutting out too, right? Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. but he had the hiccups, and it just seemed like there was a pretty good chance that he was gonna vomit, and uh, yeah, just like that. A part of me uh, was actually kind of scared that. Well, it was part of me was happy, like with the idea of him vomiting on me. Nope. Because if he puked on me, at least nope. it would be like viral, you know. I mean, Bunk puked on Adam. You need an intervention about this stuff. You think? <laughs> yes. About going viral? Yes. You think? Yeah. But no. You've been the doing puke numbers, thing would have been too much. That's too much. You're yeah. like, why are you thinking about? Oh yeah, I would Who cares? That's puke. He's That's trying to get the million. Yeah, but what? I go in the bathroom. I clean myself off. It takes me mm. five, five minutes. All right. Then you could have get ligma. Hakeem. puke on Adam. <laughs> no, because but that's not viral. Adam's friend pukes on him. I guess it's kind of viral, yeah, but it's viral. anyway, you getting puked on no matter what is viral. I actually kind of like this idea though, because that would be a good thing to sort of set up is to like go have somebody puke on my bald head. Uh, that just grosses me out so much. Probably watch, like puke. I'll puke. I'll puke. Chris will puke if you if make you puke, puke noises. Just he, so you know, yeah. if you run up to Chris on the street and go, eh, eh, eh. <laughs> He feel nah. like right now he feels like he's gonna puke because I just did that. Nah. Yes, I've known him for a long time. This is a real thing. Um, <laughs> anyway, yeah, he goes to stand up at the end. Finally, they decide that they they're they're gonna get him out of there and everything, and he goes head forehead first into the wall, like fully just thud, like just a real bonk on that wall, man. <laughs> I there might bad. be a little dent or at least some forehead grease. I feel, I feel <laughs> <laughs> and this is where Volk's head was right here. We just saw a rumor that this hole was caused by when he fell his head. Yeah, yeah. He, or we should he get cut next that time hole in the wall. Sign it. Bunk was here. Boom gang. Whole lot of gang shit. <laughs> was here. Damn. I bro. feel bad for him. Well, I, oh, I feel I terrible. Know he's going to do is the, whatever the fuck he wants no matter what anyway yeah. and like that's what he wants to do but it's like Damn. It sucks that he doesn't have anybody in his life to be like Chill the fuck out. I mean, it's super sad because, yeah, none of those people apparently give a shit. And then what's super sad is when you really think about it, Boonk has a lot of opportunities that he could really make something out of his fame. You know, it's like yeah. maybe the rap thing isn't going to work out, but, you know, just tons of stuff that he could do in terms of entertainment. You look at somebody who's motivated with his level of fame, like Fat Boy. You see Fat Boy hosting clubs yeah. every night, doing stuff with rappers, it's doing rock. all kinds of meeting up with people. He's got sponsorship deals, all kinds of stuff. I mean, Boone could be doing all that stuff that Fat Boy's doing. Instead, he's kind of teetering off the, the deep end currently. But, I mean, you know, it's not like he's in control. It's, like, pretty obvious that he's an addict. and that Yeah. Because he, he, he gets sober. He'll get sober for a while. A lot of people I know who are fucking al- alcoholics or addicts, they never get sober. They never take a couple weeks off. I've seen Boone fully sober months and months of sobriety. But then he just gets bored and he's just he starts doing it again. I mean, that's yeah. what happens. I think he was saying it last night. He was just like, I'd be getting bored and shit. Yeah. You know? And I totally understand that to a certain it's extent. When you, like go, so you need a hobby. You need like yeah. something to like you yeah. know, keep your mind busy from but, you know, find a new sitting addition. around. And Realistically, and his hobby up. should be making something out of the fame and the notoriety that he has. And he needs to be aggressive with it because that shit is not going to last forever. Like, you know, the position he's found himself in is the kind of thing that a year or two from now might seem a lot less cool than it seems right now. He needs to be really, like, on top of that shit and just completely, like... Yeah. Look at Shiggy. uh, Look at Shiggy. Yeah. Yeah. 250K, man. I like Shiggy. A lot. A Shiggy No Jumper would be lit. Shiggy, come to No Jumper, man. Come to No Jumper. We should make our own... Shiggy challenge? Shiggy. We should create we should, Shiggy. We should do our own dance challenge yes. to a song. We choose. And we can go viral. So Whatever you're just going to ignore the fact that we're 30, in our 30s, we're white, huh? out yeah. of shape. Or maybe or, not us specifically. Oh, right. Oh, no, right. fuck it. Yeah, us specifically. Fuck it. Yeah, fuck it. I yeah. think that, like, No Jumper as an, as an organization, maybe we could afford to have some 
people dancing aside from the no, old we, white not guys? Not the old no. white guys. And he came. Oh. I mean, in house. I don't really see you as a dancer either. I'm from I'm from Jamaica. I know how to dance. I do think you're pretty you good at basketball. You jab your you saw, fucking you saw my, pelvis. You saw my pelvis. I saw your ball. Instagram story of you playing basketball. I was like, man, how long did it take him to land all these shots? Hey, I got my filmer over there, Mario. Man. <laughs> <laughs> he long knows the time. truth. <laughs> long time. I was impressed. Nah, yeah, I, I played basketball and football. In high school, right. I was in. We know because you recycle your friggin' uh, highlight yeah, reel on. You go through a fucking depression where you have to fucking yeah. reminisce about your high school days. I, oh. I'm waiting for you to shout it out right now. Hakeem Rowe, check out my football highlights <laughs> on YouTube. <laughs> they got 37 views. I actually got a thousand and no jumper comments. Wow. Now. Yes. Ooh. Hakeem Rowe, yeah. R O W E. <laughs> Rowe versus Wade. <laughs> Very famous. All right, there you go. Look, All I right. did it. I did it, Chris. You did do it. Look at that.